everybody thank you so much for stopping by my channel the sacred alchemist 1111 i am your host angel rita levain and i am here to bring you guys a you versus them reading for the lovely down-to-earth taurus star signs yes it's for you darlings okay i hope that you guys have had a very productive week so far or thus far and um you know, you guys are kind of looking forward to winding down and, you know, looking forward to the weekend. Now, um, an intuitive message um, came to mind and it says that you're focused and you're ready to go. You're, like you're raring to go, you're, you're, you're ready. You're definitely um, reached that point where, you know, it's it's like it's all or nothing, like you're, you're, you're ready. You're done with the, you know, delays or waiting around and, you know, you just really, you're in this energy, um, Taurus, of trying to sort of um, definitely see your way through with, um, you know, whatever it is that's, that you're hoping for, you're striving for, okay? So this is for Taurus. And um, yes, so it's the you versus them. Now, obviously, with regards to the you versus them, this is to do with the situation ship that you are in. It could be a relationship that you are in with a particular person that you are romantically, intimately connected to. However, there are issues going on with your relationship, okay? So it's just a way of doing a reading to find a little bit more insight um, into what's going on, you know, with this connection, you know, where is it going, where is it heading to, if you both feel the same way or if one of you feel like it's time to go you know so this kind of gives you like a an, some kind of insight into you know your situation now if you resonate with anything that is said in this reading then that's beautiful it's wonderful because it means then you've got extra sort of um inspiration and um to you know to use and you know some kind of tools tips advice that you can use to pull yourself out of your situation okay if nothing resonates here with you, do you know something, babes? Don't worry about it. Just keep it moving. All right? This is how we do. Now, um, it's general. Okay? It's non-gender specific. It's I'm just interested in the energy of the person or persons involved. Okay? Now, um, also please note that I am also on Instagram. So if there's... Um, any time that you're free you can always just click on the link on my cover art on my youtube channel and then it would you'd be taken straight to my ig page there you can just follow um the readings that i do i do mini readings twice a day and i also post um little bits and pieces in between okay so definitely check me out there now without further ado Taurus, we're going to get stuck into your reading now okay because it's just gone three minutes and i you know i don't really like to do too much you know spend too much time on the spiel i want to get the reading done for you okay so i feel that you're in that vibe as well you you know all right shut up I'm talking more okay let's get cracking <laughs> okay so spirit what do we have for taurus earth sign energy okay we've got two cards one face up and the other one face down the one that is face up has to go after. Let's see what's going on with this one that's face down. Um, down. See? The one that's face up is that you've got the courage. This comes first. Courage. This comes first and the stillness comes after. I feel that what you need to do here, Taurus, is you need to uncover your courage uncover your courage so that you'll be able to dwell more prominently in your stillness okay you can see so with the courage card there's a lot that is going on here you need to deal with this first before you can um, really in, enjoy this quiet time This is why this had to come last. You, because I do see that you can see this from afar. But there's certain issues, there's certain things that you still need to uncover and sort out. 
before you you're able um earth sign taurus to be able to just have a little bit of peace and quiet there's a lot of dysfunction um worries and woes that's going on in your life right now and sometimes you feel like you you just want to go toe to toe with anybody that's just going to be stepping um you know i'm hearing out of line with you because i do sense that you're trying to keep a, a lid on things you're trying to keep in control of your situation but there's times when you just feel as if you're you, you know you're losing control here <clears throat> You're definitely trying to navigate your way. Um, I don't know if you can see. No, I don't think you can see it very well. Well, I tell. I'll describe it to you. Um, amongst um, the, the the skies and the the clouds and the sky and the clouds, there is um, like a faint map. You know, like a um, atlas map um, that's got like um, you know, sort of ley lines so to speak um that's um depicting like certain like a map of the world yeah it's like you're trying to align all of your energies because you're an earth sign as well and and obviously i can see like the you know a map um you know of the world uh, um but it looks like it's on a globe sort of thing you're starting to really sort of make sure that you are being proper grounded because I feel right now your emotions are kind of like out of your control at the moment. This is you in your perfect grounded energy, okay? Um, but whatever is going on here, I sense a lot of um, you know like water, but also fire. There's there's a, there's a there's an energy of like there's a an aggression and an aggressive kind of energy, and it's like you're reaching the boiling point, okay? So. I sense that what's going on is that you're you're just really making sure that you're just focused on making sure that you just you know finalize whatever kind of things that you've got to sort out so that you are able then to really embark on this stillness because I I just feel that this is sort of like the end game of um, your personal quest okay so to speak all right so let's go on to the enchanted map it's very interesting that card came up because I'm using um, the enchanted map um, so this is about just kind of like kind of trying to pinpoint where you are on your journey okay and, and what's going on with you Taurus okay just bear with me a sec you've got a lot going on you've got a lot going on yeah making a choice making a choice so you've got opportunities that's right in your way and right now your path is split this feels like the two of swords energy but this is also to me this feels like um the empress card now the empress card is obviously taurus and libra energy as well okay but you need to make sure that your feet are firmly on the ground and that you are on the right path in order to go through towards your destination bearing in mind is that everything that is done here it feels to me that it is pre-ordained already and deep down inside you already know which way you need to be going okay so this is what i've got for you here um you've definitely got sorry guys i've got something stuck in my eye i hate when that happens and i'm recording as well sorry it's a bit unprofessional so what i see going on here is the fact um I'm hearing one door leads to peace, the other one leads to chaos. One door leads to peace and the other one leads to chaos. The, 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 it's certainly about transformation and freedom. That's what's going on here. Because I feel right now, sorry guys, I'm sort of like transfixed on this. I'm trying to sort of in, 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 inhale the energy. All right, we'll go with that. But I feel right now this is a very strong spiritual connection between where you are right now in the 3D and in the spirit world. And I feel as well that this is a combination of both 
realities, dimensions coming into um, some form of balance. If you can wield this kind of power, you could actually use this to your advantage, both the spirit world and also it seems to me, this seems to be the spirit world right here. And this seems to me to be in sort of like the, you know, the 3D world, okay? But I feel that you can have the ability eventually um, to dip in and out. This is uh, this section is only going to resonate with a, a small minority of um, Taurus signs, because what I see here as well is that I said that one door leads to peace, the other one leads to chaos. So as you can see that with these two cards, do you remember what I said? It's like this one card here is a representation of these these two elements, these two um, things cards. Okay, so. One door, the the one the door on the left would lead would lead to the swans, and if you can look closely as well, you know they've got like these kind of they they look like birds, okay, as well, all right, um, which is seen here as a swan, okay, but then the other door, um, obviously is purpley, is kind of similar in a sense to not this um, to all what's going on here, a little similar. Reason being is because you've got the clouds in the background as well, okay, with um, with the courage card as well. So there's, there seems to me that there's like a duality of of diff, you know, of the dimensions. There's definitely a polarity there. There's a difference, obviously, but it's just you being able to harness whatever you can get from the spirit world in order to kind of make things more easier for you. Now. I don't know where your person kind of fits in with this. I'm not sure. But what I'm picking up, that this is about you. And I'm hearing it's a choice you have to make in order to leave someone behind. So to me, this feels like this is a spiritual calling, a spiritual quest that you are on. And you have to make this decision to leave somebody behind because I feel that the, the calling is stronger let's get stuck into this reading and see what's going on with you darling all right so what we're going to do is we are going to pull um we're going to do four card spread okay I'm using four decks two for you and two for your person all right um and then after that I'm going to see um once I've pulled the decks and read the cards if I need to clarify um then I will do or I may not need to and then I'll just go straight on to the other person's reading okay so it's just a little heads up obviously whatever is depicted and read out in the, the cards you know it may not have anything to kind of do with this energy because I do feel that I do feel there is a connection here but it's this is about you, what's going on between you and your person I feel that what this is is just basically saying about you but these cards are going to tell me about you and your person of interest all right that's what i'm picking up so this is you remember what i said about the courage to you know the chaos i feel that whatever is going on between you and your person straight away you are putting an end to this craziness this madness you were carrying them around on your back for quite a long time. And in the end, I'm hearing it was convenient. But who was it convenient for, Taurus? All right? I know that you're a very strong individual. You're very, very earth-bound. Um, you're very resourceful. Um, oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'll get the words out. You're very resourceful. You're very grounded. You are very stable. But the thing is, pentacle energy, people can sometimes use that to their advantage and not yours. Because you are the breadwinner, you are the sole provider, you're the person that goes out and works the land, you can do, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, people rely on you. But I feel that what's going on between you and a, and a particular individual, this is 
a burden. And it's also, to me, it feels as if it's the beginning of the end of this situationship. Okay, let's pull some more cards and see what we've got going on. And also, it's as if like they expect you to be in that way. That's not going to ride with you. That's not going to sit with you, is it? I don't know where they're going with that. But they, it's, but it's like they expect you to be, you know, carrying around these wads, wands, um, you know, on your back for the rest of your life, or for as long as they want you to, if they have that much interest in you. You know your worth. And part of your worth is not being carrying around that kind of heavy burden like that, okay? You've got the judgment card. You've got your awakening, darling. I told you, 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 you've got your spiritual calling. There's a card that's face down and I'm told to leave it until the end of this spread. And I have to leave it, okay? I'm not looking at it, I don't know what it is. And I'm just putting it to one side. This is you. You've answered your call. The call. And as soon as you were called, sorry guys, I'm there, oh my God, sorry. I, I forgot I had the um, camera rolling. The call came out. You answered the call, you took the call, you answered it. And you've agreed to move forward. Now, guys, this could actually be some of you going into, um, you know, to be ordained, um, you know, to become a priest. Um, it's very spiritual here. It's a very strong spiritual energy that I'm picking up. Your life is changing. It's never the same again. Things are never the same again. It's never going to be the same again. And you, it's like, you, oh gosh. You don't mind. You don't mind. Because I do feel that this is some, this is going to be where once you step into your faith and you're on your spiritual journey, this is where you're going to find the perfect stillness, the divine stillness. Okay? This is what I feel. I, I I mean, for some of you guys, it could be you going into a monastery. I'm very, I'm sensing a very, um, guys, this is not going to resonate with the majority of you guys. I, I, I can feel that. But what I'm picking up here is a very strong vibe of somebody who is being, who has a very spiritual, a very strong spiritual calling. And three is like the, the sacred, you know, the Holy Trinity number as well, you know. So, um, you're done, babes. Let's go with this. Let's see what's going on here. Now, I have to take these. I've got to take them. I don't know when this... It's like I don't have control of this, but I have to take these cards. This fell on my lap. This is you, King of Pentacles. Somebody is regretting, it's not coming from you, it's coming from them, all right? What I see going on here, remember you're leaving, you're going, because you've answered the call. It's, it's making you become even more resourceful. Now, as I said, you may not necessarily be going towards, um, you know, becoming a, a, you know, a priest or going into, you know, um, you know um, deeper into your faith. But this is bringing you abundance like there's no tomorrow whatever is going on with you whatever this awakening is Taurus it is giving you abundance like you've never experienced before some of you they wanted to have you like this but the divine said no I'm calling this in I'm gonna push you towards this this is where you need to be okay you are being spiritually guided and protected. Now, what I see going on here, okay, I've, 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 got, I've got to pull them because I feel as if I've already got the cards. Okay, hold on one sec. I've already got the, I've already got the cards. 
All right, hold on, bear with me, guys. I do, when I do readings, I am just intuitively guided to um, do the spreads a certain way. I mean, things change with these readings, I've, I've noticed. I was doing them one way before and then it's like, spirits say no, I have to just change it up. I have to, okay? What's going on here has given me clarity. Um, and I'm working on um, a small space. Okay, right, so what is going on here? Interesting. Now, you had, I've got, I've got to take this as well. This is the Destiny card. This card represents the two of you in this reading because I'm using the same deck. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go over the cards again for you, all right? So the first card we had was the Ten of Wands, which is how they viewed you, okay? This is how you were in the beginning. They kind of liked that shit. They kind of liked you being like this, okay? Because it was convenient for them. You, you made their life easy. But what happened was is that you was going through a very spiritual awakening. Divine called on you and you had to, and you answered the call. It was time, darling. Look at what I've got in my hand, it was time. Divine timing is at play here, okay? Perfect timing. Now, you have been driven towards your, your newness. And this is the chariot card and seven is um, a holy number as well. Okay, a very spiritual number. You're heading towards abundance. This is going to give you so much stability. It's gonna keep you so grounded and humbled that, you know, you've never experienced this before. Now, let me show you the cards of, for your person, okay? This person who has you in this energy. Now, remember, this bottom of the deck represents the two of you because basically the universe is calling time out on this shit. So first of all, they've got the Nine of Swords. They got the nine of swords. This is what I had to, the cards fell out and, and I had to take them. So they're in this energy of, oh my gosh, what the, like, what am I going to do now? Because there was relying on you so much, they know that shit's coming to an end because nine, you know, nine of swords is endings. Okay? They have been up all night trying to figure out what they are going to do. And I'm told, and I feel that this card that I've got pulled to one side is more for the person than you anyway we'll see all right what this represents is the fact that they know that they are losing you now what's going on here is that this i don't know if this is intuitive to them but this star card is a way they can see that things are changing they can see this star card is starting to heal off this vibe because you're being guided away from this, all right? And what I see going on here, okay, now guys, hear me out. They are getting their comeuppance. Here, what I'm gonna tell you is because what I see going on here is that they have to empty out everything that else, whatever kind of emotions that they've got for you. This is like cleansing time. This is real closing off this cycle, this situation. What they are going down towards, because I don't think this person treated you very nicely either. They're getting their comeuppance. It's time for them to get their judgment and they're gonna pay for it, okay? Because what I see going on here is they are now being led down towards their Situa towards their loss, okay? So they will try to come at you with this, you know, page of wands kind of energy. Because I do feel, you're probably dealing with a fire sign, okay? But they're gonna try and come off to try and capture you. But they've now got the five of cups. Remember what's happened with the star card, right? The two of cups. The star card, the universe, and this is major arcana. There's nothing that this person can do because you see what's going on with the, imagine these to be chalices, all right? These, all right, these are urns or whatever, but I'm, I, I have to, I'm being intuitively 
guided by what I see going on, on here with these two cups, this situation and the two cups at the back. This person is losing you and it is out of their control. Because what they were guided down, remember the moment you make a choice, okay, you, you have to be prepared to face the consequences, irrespective. We all have, whatever choice we make in life, whether it's positive or negative, it's always going to have what is called a cause and effect. This person don't even realize what the hell's going on because they're still trying to come at you again with this stupid, puerile energy, right? When they see that you have totally gone about your business and you are like this, you don't even have time for them, is when they're realizing that they've lost you. The epiphany is going to hit them. It's going to hit them hard. Because they was always, it was, because as I said, it you was like the convenience store. You was the convenience store. And I also sensed as well that they were sort of like bragging and, and this and that. But, but I mean, this is how they had you. All right. But it's time. It's time to move. Now the card that I said that I was um, leaving, I feel is for your person. And I've got the fact that what they need to know, this is for them, is that you've got the strength card. You've got the strength. This is part of their learning process. Okay, this is part of what they need to learn, is that you found your strength. When they have lost you, and they regret it is when they've realized that you were stronger than they were to walk away and let them go remember i said this this feels like this is for both of you but it's like they needed to know now because they don't know what they've got until it's gone because you needed to be strong enough right you see this this is the strength card yeah i've got the courage card right here this is for them now as part of their life lesson to know this is what happens bitch when you fuck around with somebody and you think you can really treat them like a damn dog and treat them like a fucking slave right you think that you're going to be all nice and cocky but when you realize now you're getting your judgment because they've got their shit going on now okay when you think that you're going to come at them like that you end up with nothing they were stronger than you to walk away this is what happens and this is what they're going to find out and learn how strong you really was because i feel that there was taking liberties with you it's for them now to understand that you're somebody never to be messed with because this is how you are going to be looking now right this is this is your vibe this is your energy what they did to you and how they came off to you. As I said, the card is for the two of you because you already know how strong you are. So it's not really, it's no point in me showing this, this card to you and saying, you know, oh yeah, this card is you because you know how strong you are. But you see the other person, they didn't realize how strong they were. This is why this card needed to be for them. Okay. Now I'm going to pull um, for the five of cups. All right, and see what what's going on with this, you know, like what's going to happen. All right, hold on. What's going to happen with the five of cups after? How are they going to be feeling? How is Taurus's person going to be feeling now with this five of cups energy? Because it's news to them now. What is going to happen? Are they going to learn their ways or are they going to, you know, still continue down their road what's going to happen to them you ready that's what's going to happen to them rejection rejected don't fuck about with somebody who has been so good to you so 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 good to you they bent over backwards to fucking help you and because you tried to treat them like shit 
You thought that you would be it. You were slick. Look at what happened to you. And you've got the Ace of Swords. It's a harsh truth that they're going to be faced with. That's their, that's their comeuppance. Babes, you saw me pull the cards. You saw me shuffle them. You saw me shuffle them. That's what's going to happen to your person. This is why I feel that when I was doing the oracle cards, I, I was sensing them. I was like, where the fuck are, you know, where, where are they? Are you sure this is you versus them? That's what happens. When you treat people wicked and bad, carry on, it's okay. It's all right. Because God don't sleep. You get yours in the end. They get theirs in the end. That's when they're going to find it and overstand themselves and think, Shit, I'm really messed up. Yes, bitch, you did. All right? This is what they're getting. And I really, um, you know, they will find their way, but they have to go through this karma. This is them getting their karma, okay? They are going to get their karma. There is no time for you to be sitting down worrying about this person because you are on your way. This is you going towards your ascension. I feel that this has been you for most of your life. Been a donkey for people, right? You could even have 10 people around you. Like each of these ones could represent a person that has a very fiery, egotistical, narcissistic kind of attitude towards you. You have to drop these motherfuckers. Sorry for swearing, but... Now we've got friendship. Nature the nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will improve dramatically. Okay? Now I do feel that this is you are going to come into new people because everything you are not going to be on your own. It's not going to happen. You're not going to be on your own. You know what's going on now in this precise moment in time. You know you know the truth. You are going to be moving towards new beginnings and peace. You're going to understand what real friendship is all about. You're going to understand what real friendship is about. I want you to see this so you can pause it and, and have a look at it. I feel that this is definitely going to be you. This is what you always wanted. You was a very, you know, I mean, not saying that you was, but I'm saying that you are. A very loving, lovely, down-to-earth person. When you meet that new person in your life, when you meet the new next new person that's coming your way, this friendship kind of bond that you're going to have is going to be lovely because I feel that this is also part of your rewards. You're not going to be on your own. You will find your Queen of Pentacles. You will find your queen. All right. Now let's pull for the romance angels. For what you've gone through. In these past few years or however long you've been in this energy for. Which is coming to an end. This is you now having a, an amazing new beginning. Because bad things come to an end. Good things come to an end. Bad things begin. And good things begin. Good things are beginning for you. I tell you that now, and obviously, look what's happened to your, your, you know, your, your ex, triple X person. Let's just pull a card from the romance angels. This is going to bring you a real sense of peace as well. You are going to be meeting people that's on your vibration, on your level, and it's just going to make such a, um, a huge difference in your life. All right, and you, you're gonna get passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Finally, it's coming, friendship, wonderful, beautiful friendship, and passion is coming your way. Because that is what you, you've gone through a lot with people. Um, who said that you have to be in there forever? Who told, who told you that, or who told them that, All right? It will definitely improve. It will definitely improve. Right, what's going on with the angel answers? We've got yes, 
reconsider. So for some of you, um, you may want to, how can I say this? Because you can, I, for some of you, you're not going to really want to forgive the person. Okay, you're going to want to just move off and and so forth like that. Um, but I do feel that you would definitely need to kind of like have some form of healing. And because this, I mean, they're energetically being removed from your life anyway. Okay. You can forgive them from a distance and move on because I feel that what is going on with you right now, Taurus, is you've got too much to lose. You've got so much gains that's going on as well, okay? You, you, you're heading in a good direction. You're heading on a really, really good path. And I, would, and, I, and I sense as well that if you're able to give yourself closure, release the person, you know, kind of reconsider, because I know it would be the anger, um, angry side, and, and, you know, and I'm not being funny, no disrespect, but Taurians can be very, 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 very stubborn when you're ready, okay? It's like you, you, you've you got more chances of pushing a bloody double-decker bus, all right, <coughs> than actually getting you to do something. But what the angel answers are saying here is that you kind of need to reconsider um this kind of like resentment because I'm sensing this is also to do with like resentment as well keep yourself pure keep your vibrations high because what's going to happen is allow the universe to deal with this person because I tell you something they're going to they are going to feel it a lot more than what you are you don't need to put yourself or lower yourself to their vibration okay and put yourself in a mess don't do that to yourself okay so let's pull for, what did I say about forgiveness? And look what I've got. Forgiveness. Taurus, please reconsider. Please reconsider. It's funny because when I saw the reconsider card, I did think of forgiveness. I did think of forgiveness because I feel that, yes, the person done you wrong. They done you wrong. And they never should have done the things that they did to you. They never should have said the things that they said to you. But it's going to burn them more because they have lost you entirely. You're no longer there. You've dropped them because they was a burden. The thing that's going to burn them the most is knowing that, oh God, I was a burden to that person. Yes, bitch, you was. All right? You was. That's why you're no longer around. Do the right thing. Do the honourable thing. Forgive them energetically and move on with your life, okay? So let me just read it for you. Hold on, you can just, right? It says, write down the names of everyone you need to forgive. Write down the names of everyone you need forgiveness from. Now forgive yourself, you deserve it. Don't let this resentment and this anger and this stubborn, this stubbornness consume you because you've got a good heart. Don't let them do that to you. Don't let this person take away the one good thing about you that everybody, you know, um, will come to grow to love when they get to see you. Because this is where you're going to have and form a beautiful, strong friendship. All right? Remember this? It's going to help you to nurture those energies. Guys, this is what I've got for you. Taurus. Mm -hmm. You see how people can stay. This is why it pays to be when you do bad when you're bad minded. You see when you're bad minded, and you think that you can do whatever you want to people and be a bitch, and trying to be two faced, ten faced, three faced, whatever to the person, and think that you're gonna get away with it. The universe is watching you. Karma is watching you. They're watching you. You cannot be wrong and strong. You cannot be wrong and strong. This person is going to find out that you can't be wrong and strong. Okay? You don't get the strength card, love. You don't get the strength card. 
and then you still figure that you could do wickedness and bad mindedness to other people guys this is Lorraine from the secret alchemist 1111 I love this reading I love it I really do because this puts you now on the path of your greatness you are stepping into your greatness and this is what it's all about this is the kind of tarot reading that I wish I would have for myself I love it this is the kind of guidance this is the kind of suggestions when it comes to you I mean all right it was you know the readings here is just telling you straight up how it is telling you straight up how it is you've got the choice darling you can forgive them and and feel this beautiful you, you know loving gorgeous energy that's coming through or you could just say no fuck that I don't give a damn I am still going to cast them off I'm still going to hate their guts baby you do what you have to do because it's your free choice at the end of the day your free will but just remember what it is that you will be sabotaging in the process okay I'm not trying to reverse the psychology on you either all right because I'm a Libra this is about me just pointing out what I can see with these cards and I've read these cards out to you in a way that I hope and pray that the intentions behind what I am saying is of a good and highest you know nature all right this is good intentions this isn't bad intentions to make you do the wrong thing I will never put you wrong I will always try and put you right all right because you know you know this anyway you know deep down inside it's the right thing to do darling thank you guys again for stopping by my channel all right please do take care of yourselves to look after yourself your health your wellness everything and um keep doing what you're doing because i'm telling you it's paid off make sure you stand your ground you know your worth you set your boundaries nice and tight and high when they need to be raised up you raise those boundaries but you make sure that foundation that the boundaries are on is solid solid to stonehenge all right sit proudly on your throne all right this is you right this is not you this was you but this is you now all right so we've got the before and after this is what you want to be focusing on. Let this energy supersede these, this burden for you. Okay, guys, I am going to love you and leave you, and we will catch up next time. Okay, Taurus? See you. Bye.